and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube as well for some Grixis Alliance. That's right, we got a pretty sweet looking donation deck here where we are playing a Grixis deck that is built around um, Improbable Alliance and drawing multiple cards a turn. So with Improbable Alliance is a two-man enchantment. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, you create a 1-1 blue fairy creature token. So we want to be able to draw two spells a turn. If it's our turn, that means all we need to do is draw is draw one additional card because we get our draw step. <clears throat> so the one additional card can come from Opt or Royal Scions or Notion Rain. Even if it's if it's our opponent turn, and I guess Jace, Nicol Bolas, these cards draw an extra card with them. Um, if it's our opponent's turn, uh, we need to draw two cards. So we got a couple thrill of possibilities in here to be able to do that. Uh, besides that, we also have Liliana that can draw extra cards uh, whenever our creatures die, including those 1-1 one, one fairies or the zombies that she can create. And if that's all not... if if all that is not enough spice for you, we got Magic Mirrors. The Magic Mirror can, you know, end up being a whole lot of card draw after a few turns. You know, your first turn you draw a card. Uh, first turn after you untap with Magic Mirror, you draw one card. If you untap again, you draw two. If you untap again, you draw three, and so on. That can that can end up being a lot of card draw you know like between Liliana with all the card draw she can have and Magic Mirror that can be a lot of card draw and honestly that could be us drawing too many cards before we can kill our opponent so it's you know this is the kind of deck that could honestly we could be milling out um, so we need we need something we need a backup plan if we're going to be milling out we need a backup plan and that's what we got the two Jaces in here for so our Jaces if we do mill out with, with all the card draw these things can have in the later game we play a Jace um, then if we draw a card while our library has no cards in it, we win the game. So there we go. Um, so that's so that's probably going to be happening a decent amount. Um, and uh, yeah, let's so let's go ahead and give this a try. Grixis Alliance. All right, with donation decks, we like playing them over here in the traditional. Standard leagues. We're gonna play league, play till we win five or lose two, whatever happens first. You think Hawkeye would play Esper? JJ, be polite. All right, so we don't have that's a that's a perfectly fine hand. We don't have a lot of lands in the deck we own. We got our twenty four lands, um, which is perfectly fine with even though like we want to play a longer game because we have so much card draw. All of our ops, um, the thrill possibilities, notion rains, the looting with royal scions. We got so much card draw. That I think it'll work out. Another good thing about Improbable Alliance is it is an enchantment, and so Oko cannot turn it into a 3-3. So that's a good thing. That's a pretty sweet draw. Yeah, we'll take that. Good way to get an another more instants and sorceries in the graveyard. I'm probably just going to be ditching the Ritual of Soot here. Since we don't have any black mana. And then that's, that's two instants and sorceries in the graveyard for the Magic Mirror. Oh, that's really nice. So we get to opt on our turn to, to double trigger. And then on their turn, yes, I want more ops. 
And then on their turn, we can thrill a possibility and double trigger again. Well, this is going really well. Yeah, this is going really well right now. <laughs> what are you doing, Hawkeye? Hawkeye just went and he's just laying down right on my hand. Like with my hand with the mouse. What are you doing? Magnificent world. Behold, nature's true power. I think I want to kill their lands. So like if I if I don't block I have like I have 6 coming at Nissa but they have the Gilded Goose to block one of them. I think I trade 3 of these for a land. Oh, that could be wrong. Is it best just to play Magic Mirror here? If I go Opt and Magic Mirror, then I have to get a blue source with Fabled Passage, but I obviously I really want a black source. I think I just play this Magic Mirror. Yeah, we, we lost to another Soul Tide deck where I flooded out really bad both games. All right, my plan is to bedevil the Nissa. Magic mirror. That's a cool animation. I tried a magic mirror deck. You know, the, that Demir mirror. Demir. I tried that and it didn't work out for me. This is this is already looking a lot better. Yeah, that was a pretty cool animation. No, Opt wasn't free because you need triple blue for a mirror. So to play Opt and then play mirror, we need four blue sources. And I don't have four blue sources, especially how I could have gotten a fourth blue source with the Fable Passage, but I, I, need, I need black. They missed a land drop, and yet they're still just trading their land away. Fine with me. No. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. Oh. They don't know how Oko works. And all your cares are gone. All right, so I guess I have to bedevil Oko in case they figure out that Oko can get rid of my magic mirror. Gosh, this Nissa though. All right, no, I, I'm getting rid of the Nissa. Fight on without me. Maybe they don't know how Oka works still. So, I mean, they're they're just kind of stuck on mana, so I feel like we need to do that. I'm not sure exactly why I want the Royal Scions. Why didn't I just put it down to the bottom? I feel like I probably should have right about now.
Let's broaden your existence. Yeah, that, that's the other thing I was thinking is like even if even if they you know give me the magic elk then they'd be they're already like behind on mana and they give me more. Ooh. Ah. We don't get to ultimate royal scions. So I guess I could go Go Jace Elder Spell or Royal Scions Elder Spell. Probably want. I mean, it's maybe it's a little too early for Jace. No, Oko cannot steal artifacts. I'd rather just draw a card though. Wow. So that worked. Um, so boots, I know. So I know, like you, you play this deck a lot more than I do. So if you have, if you have any suggestions, feel free. Um, I think that we don't want Cry of the Carnarium. Yeah, I'm taking out Cry of the Carnarium. And. guess for lava coil the planeswalkers are what I'm, I'm definitely worried about but we we don't really have planeswalker removal in our sideboard you bring duress in We do have a lot of Planeswalker removal in our deck already, though, which is pretty nice. I don't know what I'm supposed to take out for Duress. This all looks pretty good. All right, we'll bring in just one lava coil and also take out a notion rain for another dress. Yeah, I I'm liking this main deck elder spell. Okay, you're in the way. Thank you. Ah. You've been running Gideon's Triumph in your Selesnya decks with Gideon in it. So they're on six, but it looks like looks to be a, a very good six. Yay. Noko. Yeah, no, I'm not, not interested in playing on where do you go. Wow. The Tilt Duress. That card's so strong, Hawkeye. That card's so strong. 
15 minute match. We're playing mono red over here. It's like we're playing mono red aggro. The mirror really is magic. Really is. <laughs> One mana win the game. Usually that's usually that's Veil of Summer. So this is a tough spot. I to be able to go. If I want to go turn two alliance, turn three royal scions, then I need to fetch with Fable Passage, turn one, and if I do that, I need to get a blue or a red source for Improbable Alliance. The problem with getting a blue or a red source is then, I still think we should be doing this, is then Nicol Bolas Dragon God costs a whole lot of black mana, so we, we really want black source. All right, and blue, blue mana is much more important than red mana in our deck. So I, against Dismal Backwater, I'm willing to shock in here, pay the two life, but we were probably going to have to be shocking anyway. Yeah, yeah, the reason why I'm not interested in Unmoored Ego in that matchup, just in mid-range matchups most of the time, is because Unmoored Ego, it... Do I want to shock in for steam vents? No, I don't. I don't think we need to. It costs three mana and everything, and with with my point being that you know you have to take you're taking like an entire turn to play your card. You're like tapping out, playing, taking a turn, playing your unmoored ego. It your opponent is not. Let me synthesize. All right. Well, we're just not gonna play this card. Um, you know, you're, it doesn't, it doesn't affect the battlefield. You know, it's not like killing any creature or planeswalker or putting a creature or planeswalker on the battlefield. You're not doing anything to the battlefield. It doesn't do anything to your opponent's hand because even though you take the four cards out of their deck, they, if they have any of those copies of the cards in their hand, they get to draw a card. So you're not, you're not taking any spells out of like their hand. So you're not trading with any, any spells. So it's, you're just playing like a like a one for zero like you're it's just um it's card disadvantage basically and it's always possible oh maybe i should have kept that thrill of possibility and basically it's always possible that Those four cards that you're taking out of their deck are like towards the bottom of their library. You can kind of think of it like that. Like you're looking at like like you're taking four cards from the bottom of their library and, and taking it and removing those four cards from their deck. Because that's basically how you can treat it. Because if it was in their hand, they get to draw a new card. So you, you can treat it as, as if the past, present, and keep an open you are mind. just getting rid of four cards from the bottom of their library. Well, that hurts, obviously. Now we don't get the ultimate Royal Scions. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. <laughs> Rise! <laughs> My revenge I must train will harder. be painful. Honestly, I don't know if I should have... You know, like, make the attack and then Liliana minus instead of Liliana plus and just sacrifice two fairies and then draw two cards and then get six new fairies. Honestly, that, that could have been better. Wow. That's awesome for me. 
not want them. They were a lousy servant anyway. I'll find a useful death. Well, that's incredible. All right, so we'll just go Jace. I think I'm going to just Elder Spell Jace and then Ultimate Liliana. Are they your memories or mine? It's how you play the just destroy five lands. We don't have to worry about them playing anything during my turn because they got that fires invention over there. They should not have played that ritual set. I am glad we milled over two lands. That's good for... Liliana ultimate. Fortunately, I won't have to remember this. So they get to keep one land and fires of invention. So, you know, we're just. We're cashing in Liliana and Jace and the Elder Spell to destroy five lands. There. All right, looks like that was a good trade. All right, so we want all these duresses. I want this Chandra, the Thief, the Ugin. We can take out Ritual, Cruelty, Cry, and it's a lot of sixes. They're going to be a Bedevil deck as well. I want to keep all these things that kill Planeswalkers. They're going to be a Bedevil deck as well. So I, Maybe I should board out a Magic Mirror with bringing in all these other Planeswalkers. Um, maybe a thrill. Thrill's really good, though. I don't know what to cut for my other card. Yeah, I mean, I guess it could be an opt. I don't really have anything else to cut. I mean, it could be... Like, thrill... Thrill's bad if they play negate. I don't I don't expect them to have negate in their deck, but if they have negate in their deck, thrill can be pretty rough. I'll I'll just take out a thrill. I do like opt being, you know, like one mana trigger the alliance immediately after playing it kind of thing. Uh this is not a kind of hand that we want against them. I don't think it's a mulligan either. Hmm. This is just not a type of matchup that we want to be mulliganing. Yeah, Notion Rain is, is more powerful than Winged Words, but yeah, you... Winged words 
doesn't cost you two life, and if you have a fairy in play, because of your alliance can cost two mana instead of three. So there are there are upsides to it, but then but notion rain, um, you know, with having. Uh, surveil to then draw to is going to be a more powerful effect. You, know, you get to look at four cards potentially, and surveilling spells to the graveyard. I mean, surveilling, surveilling. You know, just get, getting rid of cards can be good for your Jace. If you're trying to mill out, it can be just good for your Magic Mirror to get more spells into the graveyard to make Magic Mirror cost less. We gotta thin this deck. I wasn't really expecting to draw all these lands with how, you know, we're a 24 land deck, not like a 26 um, land deck, like where you'd, you'd kind of expect us to be a 26 land deck, being a control deck, but with all of our card draw, we're only playing 24. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. I will return one day. <laughs> You have no weakness, I I guess maybe I should have cut that because third. I guess we do actually want three blue. <laughs> yeah, we're the same deck here, team. Well, very bad hand for us here. Very good hand for my opponent. I don't think it's any better than having, you know, having the castle available with fires and stuff. Like this is uh, this looks like this one's over. So they just got to draw draw from dreams and put some good spells into their hand. Oh, scry two to the top. That's awesome. So many drawn from dreams. So for lands, you'd factor percent of hitting your land drops, card draw, what other factors come into play. Um, yeah, for how many lands you want to put in your deck, you want to, like, whatever your curve is, like, how, how many lands the, do you want, how long is the game going, um... Even if you want more lands, but you know the game's going to go really long, you don't need as many lands. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. No oh, defeat. What a drag. Yeah, how much velocity through your deck do you have? Which means like how much card draw do you have? Or just cycling ability, like how how easy can you churn through your deck? A manipulation of the mind. There's always an answer.
And then, yeah, also your, your color requirements. The, har the harsher your color requirements, the more lands you need. Also, you know, like playing like triple black, triple blue, it's difficult. You usually want an extra land there or two. So that's another thing that that factors in. You know, like if you're playing one color, you don't need near, you don't need as many lands. If you're playing two color, or if you're playing three color, um, more colors means harder to cast spells. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're about to. Exploded. The undead make great minions, loyal and silent. Uh, get out of my way! Waste not, want not. Start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the inferno. <laughs> bye bye. This is a bunch of haymakers. Yep. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Them having fires of invention has just allowed them to do so much stuff with the castle and then these drawn from dreams. Yeah, like they they got this one. Well, they, they don't get to kill Chandra here. Smelly, but effective. Conquer me so easily. Well, they got one Chandra emblem. I don't think that's ultimately gonna gonna matter with us not doing any other damage, but it's there. Yeah, they, they went double bottom upkeep and then double top. Darn. So yeah, went double double bottom on their end step and then now upkeep. Scribe both to the top. Well, I'm fresh out of fuel. Thoughtfulness before action. All these Narsets are pretty rough. Do I have anything good against Narset?
I'll play that extra magic mirror back again, and I'm going to take out um, one of the Lilianas. Liliana, you know, just makes like a 2-2 two -two and then gets killed for six mana isn't good enough. Yeah, Narset, Narset shuts down so much of our deck. Well, I mean, we got we got Bedevil, Elder Spell, and Grass Rampage. We have a good amount of Planeswalker removal. This is a realistic ego matchup. Um, if we don't have, if I don't have like other things to play, like if, if we had too much creature removal, we could play Unmoored Ego. But we have we have enough playable spells. We don't need it. But this, you know, like a control deck like my opponent's playing, ego can cripple them more than normal. And so yeah, we could take Narset, um, Fires of Invention, of course, Nickel Bolas those kind of things Chandra Liliana like you have a lot of targets but that's the that's that's the thing is that there are kind of there's too many cards like one um one ego isn't going to be a huge difference maker I'm either discarding Swamp or Jace. Enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Playing thief means that they like have to deal with my creatures here, which means they're not dealing with the, the royal scions for another turn. If I just play alliance number two, maybe they just deal with with the royal scions first. Crystallizing. All right, so we know they don't have Narset. I don't need this Bedevil immediately. Oh, come on. Boo. We were about to ultimate Royal Scions. It was going to be good. That hurts. From existence. A land is good, but that was not a good that was not a good land though. Obviously. Wow. I'm glad they didn't play Chandra. Oh, come on. At least gives us another turn. Wow, they have been drawing fire. That's unreal. Well, while we keep drawing uncastables. Oh, 
position. Yeah, I thought I thought we were about to ultimate that row of scions and win this. Now that they drew a land and their land was castle, <laughs> why'd they have to draw castle for their land? Ugh. So obviously discarding that bedevil ended up really killing us. No, they, they had the Chandra, so yeah, they, they drew Nicobolas, Fires, Narset, Liliana. So the Narset hit the Liliana. And then, then they drew the land, and the land was Castle. Ugh. No, yeah, with Narset shuts down everything in my hand. Hone your prowess. I'm assuming that means they have another Narset. No, well that that just wins the game. Really? They just went to attackers. I could have just killed my blocker and then killed me. I'm at six. We're still alive. Mind and body should move in unison. I guess we're not alive. Keep an open mind. If they didn't have another Narset, we'd be able to trigger these improbable alliances. Defiance has consequence. Narset's really rough. Yeah, we need Elder Spell. Elder Spell would have been perfect. Man, I really thought we were winning that game three. I honestly did. That was that was a whole bunch of like a whole like a huge series of bad events that happened for us to lose that. Okay, we're one on one. Get this alliance in here, and then we can opt on our turn to make a one one, thrill on their turn to make another one one. I think I'm discarding the steam vents. So I think we're going to be able to find other lands. We 
can figure a way out of this. This will come in handy. That was a good tick up. Yeah, Stompy with Oko support. Let's think this MG what? Thanks for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Yeah, give me that. That gets our sub goal. Yeah, Bitter Blossom 2.0. How about this? This Bitter Blossom looks pretty good. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Yeah, can't handle it. Bitter Blossom 2.0. Improbable Alliance looking real good there. Okay. So they are playing some Planeswalkers, but not a ton. So we could have... Probably want like Legion's End Coil. So maybe take out the Elder Spells and a Notion Rain. No, Cry the Carnarium doesn't usually kill a whole lot of stuff. I'm not a big fan of Cry the Carnarium in this metagame. I kind of wish we just had more Ritual of Sets. It just doesn't kill enough stuff. Get one Elder Spell in here. Maybe we should play both Elder Spells, honestly, after sideboard. Alright, we'll do that. We'll get the cries out. This mana looks pretty bad. Run a mulligan. Okay. I guess I'm putting the Jace back. Yeah, they have Nissa, Oko, good good chance that they have four mana Vivian as well. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, we got to Magic Mirror. We got to play it one time, and it worked very well. Our bond was forged in battle. <laughs> Let me synthesize the facts. 
Yeah, so yeah, we, we got to pull off the Magic Mirror, our very first game. Roman, help! Help. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Reasonable cards. Okay. Two and one. Opponent got stuck on mana, which happens. This deck's pretty sweet, though. Like playing Jace, drawing, drawing a card every turn. It's like we're playing five mana to fairy again. And then we get Bitter Blossom. Yeah, if we ever get to pull off Magic Mirror like we did the first game. Our opponent also had Oko that they could have taken out. Like the first game, whenever we play Magic Mirror, our opponent had Oko, and they could have turned it into a 3-3. And they never did, and I was very happy. <laughs> We're going to play Esper on Sunday. Planes. You don't see too many planes. You see more trains and automobiles around. All right, let's look for black mana. Not black mana, but you're not black mana either, but you're awesome, so we'll keep you. There's probably just like the one basic mountain in here, right? Yeah, we... We have this basic mountain like every single game. It's the worst land in our deck by far. But we draw it every game. Uh, sure. I guess right now those. Steam Vents is kind of worse since we have infinite blue mana. My answers lie in the cold. We don't want to shock. Linden! Trigger. Trigger. Plan for the trials ahead. Poor opponent. Gideon's company. My plan is crystallizing. This deck plays pretty well. You know, it may look kind of janky, but it plays pretty well. These turn two improbable alliances that we've had a good amount of games have been awesome. This card has been incredible for us. 
So pairing this with like good black removal, so it's not just like in a blue red deck that doesn't have good removal. It's worked out really well. I bestow a mighty curse. They were a lousy servant anyway. We get to draw two cards. I don't really mind playing all the basic, like how our deck, our mana base has tons of basics, which can makes things look a little awkward. But I actually, don't mind it. It's been playing pretty well. Legion's End, Lava Coil, Chandra, Ugin. So unfortunately, I think that we want to play Chandra Ugin against like the creature heavy deck instead of Magic Mirror. Even though Magic Mirror cooler. Still think I'd take out Cry of the Carnarium, probably. I'll take out one Cry, one Rain. Cool, be golem, yeah. Been been happy with Grixis here. With with Improbable Alliance. It's looked pretty good. Yeah, Crowd of is just not that that good in this metagame. There's just so many so many expensive Or so many, so many like large toughness creatures. Like basically everything's like three toughness these days. All these Okos and Nissas and everything. All right, I'm gonna shock here because I need to find land, so I'm gonna be casting this opt here. <laughs> It's our worst land, but we're in the market for any land right now. So we'll take it. Would like another black source, obviously. Oh, weird to you. I'm not sure if that was my best possibility to discard. See, you main board Cry the Canarium because you get matched against Mono Red a lot. I think fl Flame Sweep is better than Cry the Carnarium, even, even like, you know, against Mono Red and stuff too. And Flame Sweep doesn't kill your. It's easier to cast, doesn't kill your 1 1s. So if, like, that's. If that's the justification because you want it against Mono Red, I'd recommend Flame Sweep. Oh, they have Kaya's Wrath. Mm, a quest of mystery. It's not a black mana source, but we just got to play it so we can maybe play Liliana next turn. When I said, oh, they have Kaya's Wrath, I was saying that like. Kind of feeling bad for Let them, kind of thing, like because that's that's not a good card to have here for this matchup. Cool, yeah, you'll change that one. Yeah, yeah. So flame sweep could could help you more than cry. Yep, exile's not that important. It's exile's important against like. Like the one place where it's really good is is against green black adventures where you're exiling the one one whatever its name is. Um, I 
the uh, innkeeper. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Well, these things are going to be pretty big now. Honestly, my opponent could win this. I don't know. I mean, I guess we just ritual upset here, though. But then they play another Linden. Get to gain life there. Maybe not. I guess I forgot I have two improbable alliances now. Uh, where are you? Even though we can cast you. We can't cast anything else in our hand. No, I don't think we can cut the mountain because you know, like we are a fab like there is a bunch of fable passages in here, and I think you you need to have a mountain with playing a bunch of fable pass. You know, there's four fable passages in the deck. I think it's worth it playing the basic mountain. It's just there's nothing that's double red, and so it's it's not a great land to draw. But I, I think it's I don't think it's worth getting just completely getting rid of though. It's it's kind of a rough spot. <laughs> Hawkeye, stop. The fairy meat shields? Aw, poor fairies. No, I don't think we should cut a blood crypt for a swamp. Do you have something on your leg? I guess not. It kind of felt like he had like a piece of tape or something on his leg. Opponent, where are you going? Mm, a quest of mystery. I fought my hardest. There's all of our lands, finally. How is Carnival Row? I never, I didn't watch it. Someone in chat said that it was really violent and that I wouldn't like it because it was too violent.
Looks like everybody says it's everybody that's seen it saying it's a good show. Very graphic, maybe maybe that that's maybe that was the word. Not super violent, but very graphic. A <laughs> strange thing will turn her on land. <laughs> Okay, there's a few gory scenes, but not that violent. It keeps getting better by the episode. It wasn't great. The first episode wasn't great. What? Basically, there's gore, but you don't really see it. Yeah, I don't. I don't really like gory stuff. Legolas, long before he was Will. Yeah, Orlando Blossoms had some good roles. Alright, we're three and one. Okay, so it's like CS CSI style gore. Yeah. I never liked that style gore either. Never seen, never watched, never, I okay, tried, way back in the day, tried watching, like, with Dexter, and yeah, that was too gory, I didn't, I didn't like that. So we got, we, we always draw the basic mountain, that's just a requirement in our triple blue, triple black deck, we always have to draw the basic mountain. We do have Rampage. Yeah, Orlando Blooming Onion. Um, we do have Rampage Cruelty, so we still have Removal, Removal. War bass. The fighting fish. All right, well, Fable Passage, we can get Swamp to play Dragon God. Or I could get Island to play Jace and have mana for Magic Mirror. All right, so we'll be getting Island. I will remake the multiverse in my image. So I could I could minus and try to kill the feather, but then my nickel bolus definitely dies. By doing this, we start attacking their resources where they have to sacrifice something. Plus, we draw another card. Plus, our nickel bolus doesn't die because we get to block. This is just the thing to be doing. Look for ritual of set. Hmm. I want to cast opt. Your defiance is in if you let your weak minds crumble. I 
got them all figured out. Let's try this. Ugh. Wow, what a killer. Both of those would have been really good draws. Of course, we don't know that. Yeah, those would have both been really good draws. I didn't go... I didn't put cards in my opponent's graveyard because of Dreadhorde Butcher. Ugh, that hurts. Another time, Planeswalker. What? Just main deck disenchant just hanging out? Wow. They can recast disenchant now? With the Arcanist? It's a matter of give and take. Sit. Cry doesn't kill anything. Why is this in our deck? Oh, this needs to be ritual set. Hmm. You'd better hope you delay our quest no further. Let me synthesize the fact. Yay. <clears throat> what should you replace Vraska with? Um I recommend like pro maybe a Maybe a, a Noxious Grasp or or a Legion's End or or another Murderous Rider. Probably one of those. So another removal spell. So they get to kill one of my planeswalkers. They're close to killing me. Maybe they maybe they get to kill me. All they need is Yeah, they they have lethal. They have lethal now. That's that's 10. They can just play the shock that's in their graveyard. Let's figure that out. They had main deck disenchant. I'd have to say the only thing I don't like about this deck is that we're playing Karatha Carnarium. This I just wish we had four Ritual of Sets. Because this card doesn't kill anything, but Ritual of Soot is so vital. These duresses. So I mean I don't know. Do I do I take out my enchantments if they're just playing disenchant? <laughs> You're welcome, floating, floating orb. 
Um, yeah, maybe maybe me mousing over the graveyard killed me. I mean, ego for feather is realistic, but I don't think I want to do it. I don't want to take out Magic Mirror, but it kind of feels like I should. I mean, I like Magic Mirror, but it feels like I should take it out. Our deck's got to be so much worse without Improbable Alliance, though, right? Yeah, the Simic Food deck's really powerful. I mean, it's the best thing in standard. Um, I think the, the three color versions are better, though, with Bant, Sultai, and I'm, I am a fan of Sultai currently. All right, this is where we draw Alliance. Oh, Simic Wishes. Uh, yeah, that yeah, the Wishes deck definitely one for best of one, not not as much for best of three. But I, I think it's I think I still think it's a really good choice for best of best of one. I like it quite a bit. Um I don't think I'd really board in That's unfortunate. Unmoored Ego isn't really for anything now that... Oh, so tired. I mean, I, I'd bring an Unmoored Ego against, like, Esper Dance if we play against that. I'm basically not going to be playing that card ever. I think with, with, um, with Field of the Dead out of the format now, I don't think it's necessary. But if, if you play against, like, a, a, a real slow control deck that only has a couple win cons... That's that's what we're going to be playing a Mordigo against right now. No, we'll just take this thing. I kind of wanted to take Defiant Strike, honestly. All playing Improbable Alliance does is let my opponent scry one with Burning Prophet. I could like play this, then play a card draw spell immediately. Or I can wait till like eight mana if where I can I play you, this and then activate it. <laughs> but just Good playing it like right then when they just had like that war. extra mana on my turn doesn't do anything. We may also just discard it to um, 
to like a rural scions if we draw one of those. The quest to beat Oko was pretty good. I hope you washed your hands first. Yeah, we we had a good We did well in our quest to beat Oko. A little death never hurt anyone. Am I the only person who didn't realize that Probable Alliance has another line of text? Yeah, you don't you don't see that very often. But yeah, you do have that ability. There you go, Diva 4. Good job. Here. Sure, we lose a, a we lose a Liliana, but getting Feather out of here From vital. To the grave. Yeah, we get to draw a couple cards. Waste not, want not. As we saw, if I didn't get rid of Feather, they would have been able to draw a couple more cards here with Defiant Strike. of Scryumph. I appreciate clean victory. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. All right, we're going to game three. Smelly, but I am willing to declare this one a win. Nobody yet knows. Could just ritual is set to draw five. It's not the worst thing ever. Yeah, my current list is in Stream Decker, and it is right there. Improbable Alliance, you can do it. Yeah, just, you know, like four mana, draw six there. It's not bad. Okay, let's keep it the same for game three. Yeah, that, yeah, it had a little bit of a lag there. The later you get into the games, the more it does that.
Yeah, Naya Feather, you do. Yeah, Season of Growth is very powerful. I'm not sure how good that mana is anymore. But yeah, Season of Growth is super powerful. May just need that, you know, may just need that power level there. Burning profits. Got disenchant. Just gonna get that Conclave Tribunal out of their hand. Ugin's my only answer to that card. And I would prefer to do other things with Ugin. That's not a very good auto tap. Uh, yeah. Anything that gets me closer to casting Ugin, I suppose. <clears throat> Yeah, they've they've had that disenchant every every game. It's just always a disenchant. Curiosity and wonder to this six my plans do not include you. Ugin's good against God's willing. Alright, I got trips black. And trips blue. It's probably more important to have more blue though. Secrets manifest before you. The fabric of the multiverse. I guess I should keep land in hand because we have a lot of cards that cycle. Like Thrill of Possibility and other scions. Yeah, Bedevil has pretty cool animation there. Ugin's finest all of our good cards. Draw four, including an opt, a row of scions, and two more. They were use for you. That sounds good to me. Ether itself serves me. <laughs> yeah. Hawkeye was up here earlier bugging me for food because of this long stream. Sure. Surprised they haven't conceded yet, honestly. Courage is the greatest virtue. Aye, with the note, my plan is crystallizing. Because, yeah, this is over. Um, 
If you want Soulti Midrange is the better deck. Like Soulti Midrange is a, is a deck that I would yeah. If you're saying should I craft this or Soulti, I would I would recommend Soulti. Um this is this deck's enjoyable to play and everything, but it's not it's not one I'd be as confident winning matches with uh round after round as Soulti. All right, we got quads. This will come in handy. This looks like a so I could draw twelve cards. If I ritual is it? Obeys me. You will not block our noble path. Well, speaking of drawing 12 cards. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Ugh. And of course, we don't have to worry about milling out. We got the Jace. All right, four and one. One more match tonight. It's going to be the final boss. With us being up for an hour and a half here, let's reset. Got to reset, got to make sure everything's run smooth for the final boss here. No, Spaznaz, it's not at all. Man, 12 for one flame sweep in your favor. <laughs> All right, we're going to get our final boss playlist going. Here we go. Final boss time. <laughs> yeah, Alliance best deck. <laughs> this is regular boss music, but it's so good. It's it's the warm-up song. You know, Sephiroth's music's on here. In our playlist. <laughs> the Unholy Alliance against Oko. Nope. Yeah, this is our only shot. No extra life. So I think I'm going to discard... Uh, Fabled Passage. Uh, 
Oh, Simic Flash for the final boss. Flash decks are always tough whenever you're trying to play a bunch of expensive sorceries like Grixis does. Simic Flash just preys on Grixis. Thrill Possibility is pretty bad against Counter Magic, but it is an instant. Yeah, it's true. It's not turn two Oko. It's turn two Merfolk Pirate. What's up, okay. Well. So if they play a werewolf, I'm obviously in a whole lot of trouble. Yay, no werewolf. One man short from playing the magic mirror. Hey, what's up, Paul? Yep, final boss. It's a tough final boss as well. I assume they're going to sack Frilled Mystic, which is good for my ritual of sets. The Magic Mirror, of course, is legendary. So we don't need we don't need two Magic Mirrors. So I can go Magic Mirror and Alliance here. Which one do we throw out first to try to get countered? I guess Alliance. Oh my gosh! No auto tap. Uh, got got by auto tap. So, I'm not playing Magic Mirror now. All right, well, Alliance is good against Brightborn Cutthroat. <laughs> Saw that coming.
rude. I mean, obviously, if, if we just try playing like something and they counter it, I lose. I just have to activate. And... Yeah, it's like Liliana's just too expensive. Just gotta activate get blockers. Stop. Too bad. Uh, let's see. So we could play a bunch of duresses. This thing can't be countered. That's kind of cool. I should probably play all these dresses. Um, so yeah, probably Magic Mirror out I wonder if we can like get him with Thief of Sanity We're gonna try to get him with with Diva Sanity. Instead of Noxious or instead of a uh, Notion Rain. Every single hand, basic mountain. <clears throat> we have it 100% of the time. All right, final boss. It's starting off well. <laughs> Into Mordor we go. Yeah, Basic Mountain's been MVP. <laughs> Alright, Hawkeye. We gotta win these next two games, okay? And then you get your dinner. Yeah, there, there are a lot of powerful cards in here, Vareel, but 
I mean, I don't know if you're going to, I don't know if we're, you're going to be consistently beating the green decks with this. I mean, the green decks are just so good. We need Braveheart music on final boss. That could be a good one. Go get him, thief. Get him. Get him, thief. They're not going to have a counter spell for Thief of Sanity. I had a lot of suggestions for final boss music from y'all before that I wrote down that I haven't, I haven't gotten to yet, but... I think Simic Flash is more... More ladder variable. Or wait, what was your viable? That was your question. How ladder viable is it? It's more ladder viable in best of one. Really, they kept in unsummon. doing get down Brazen Borrower. Brazen Borrower is not going to make it easy on Thief of Sanity here. You find something that can deal with a wolf. That's good, getting rid of Spectral Sailor. That's good. What's that supposed to hurt? Hmm. Pretty sure we got this game. I don't think they won eight lands. Yeah, they've drawn zero counters. Oh, there's a counter and a wolf. I should have attacked with Thief of Sanity first. The 
undead make great minions. Loyal and <coughs> smelly, but effective. Oh, all right, there's a wolf. Ah, uh, drew land. Okay. Game number three on the draw. I'm not sure about Thief on the draw. They got Borrower. Um, I don't have other great options, though, besides Thief. You know, it's it's like playing Notion Rain instead. So it's like, might as well play Thief instead of Notion Rain, I guess. Notion Rain's not bad, though. Maybe I do play Cry of the Carnarium against them. All right, I'll play a Cry. One Thief, one Cry, one Notion Rain. All right, yeah, final stage for the final boss. Here we go. I don't think I turn one duress. It's not like they're going to be playing. You know, like they're not playing any specific spell here. Like I, you know, I think I go duress and then something I'm trying to resolve, kind of thing. All right, so that cry could have been a, a thief of sanity. Well, we got six six lands and a Chandra. We have a plan. They missed a land drop. Miss another land drop. Sabotage, Unsummon, Oko. I'm not taking Oko. I kind of want to take Unsummon so that I can cry the Carnarium here. No. I guess I take this thing. Lay on the mana for sabotage. And blimps, and blimps. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. 
I think a little merriment is in order. Mm. You're too close minded. A burning desire to finish you. There we go. 5 0. All we need them was to not have lands and just have all spells. We did it. So they had no counter spells whatsoever game two. They didn't draw a single counter spell. And then game three, they had two lands when we played our Chandra. <laughs> Boohoo! To the big time cheers! Saying hopefully you enjoy playing my deck. It was the first brew I made day one, but it looks like it needs a little tweak. I'm happy with it overall. Absolutely. Now, Boots, you did a very, you did a very good job. You did a very good job. Um, yeah, we actually got to play Magic Mirror and everything. Um, I do think I think the the worst card in the deck is Cry of the Carnarium. I would I would absolutely just pl play Ritual of Suds. Now I know you were saying that you played against a whole lot of red, and so that's why you have Cry of the Carnarium in there. But I think Flame Sweep would be a better card there. Um, if you want to have flame sweep, I would I would just be playing ritual of sets, honestly. And then sideboard, I think the unward egos can go. So basically, we have like three extra sideboard slots that you can play kind of whatever you want. Um, things that could be good, like maybe maybe a flame sweep. If you know if you're worried about the red the red matchup, maybe a flame sweep in there. Um, even yeah, I mean, and then uh, maybe a couple of Noxious Grasp because Noxious Grasp is just so good right now. So maybe you could go with that, like a couple of Noxious Grasp and a Flame Sweep, um, kind of thing. Other other options: Disfigure, uh, another Legion's End. Um, could play Counter Magic in here. But I'd probably recommend a couple Noxious Grasp and a Flame Sweep there. Yeah, Mystical Dis Mystical Dispute is um, is an option. I think I'd, I'd rather have Noxious Grasp though. You know, if you're I understand like the trying to counter the the turn two Oko, but I think I'd rather just be just have the more reliable kill the turn two Oko. Kind of thing. This deck can play really long games. Mystical Dispute l later on turns into not a counter spell kind of thing. Um, but yeah, that that could that could work there. But yeah, this was this was fun to play. This worked out pretty well. Um, yeah, awesome. So yeah, thank you so much there, Boots. Thank you so much. Um, the sideboard, you know, like you can definitely switch stuff up if 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 you start uh, feeling like losing against, you know, like whatever you're struggling with, it definitely switch things up there. But I liked what we had going on. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that, and also leave some comments. Let me know what you, how do you feel about this Grixis Alliance deck? Did you did it? Uh, this this played pretty well. You know, it may look. You know, like it just a pile of cards, but it, it played pretty well. I was, I was uh, very happy with it. If you're playing it later on, um, you know, on YouTube, leave some comments. Let me know how it's going for you if you're if you're liking the deck also, if it's working out for you there. Also, last thing, I hope you check out my Patreon page. As I've talked about, I'm going to be putting up some sideboard guides from some of the decks that we played in Mythic uh, earlier today over on the Patreon page tomorrow. But that's where I'm going to be putting uh, blog posts, sideboard guides, stuff like that, talking spoilers whenever those come out, um, doing all the written content over there. It's $3 a month. Not too much to sign up for. I hope you uh, consider signing up for the Patreon if you have not already. Um, yeah, I, just another place that if, you, if you're watching on YouTube and you really like the videos and you don't want to... And you want to turn on ad blocker and not feel so bad about that, I hope you sign up for Patreon over there. All right, but that's it here for Grixis Alliance. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.